Hi, my name is Ms. De Leon, and today we're going to talk about solving equations and combining like terms. We are both familiar with both concepts. Today we are going to combine both of these concepts together. Our objective for today. After today, I will be able to solve equations using my knowledge of combining like terms, distributing, and opposite operations. I will also be able to apply this to set up and solve perimeter problems. In our language objective, after today, I will be able to explain to someone how to solve equations by combining like terms, distributing, and doing opposite operations. Okay, so there's basically two different types of problems. This problem, problem number one, can be found on the paper that you should have picked up. So Today you will not be taking notes on a separate sheet of paper. Unless you want to, then you're welcome to. Um, this type of problem is one that where we can only simplify. We know that we can only simplify and not solve because this problem does not have an equal sign. To simplify, we need to combine our like terms. And again, to combine like terms, you look, you're looking at either numbers or um, terms that have the same variables that are raised to the same power. So we start by looking at our first term 10x, we circle that, and then we look around to see if we have anything else that is that has an x on it. And we do 5x, so we're gonna go ahead and circle that as well. Now we combine our like terms, we have 10x plus 5x, that's gonna give us 15x, and we cannot combine the minus 6y with anything, um, so we just simply bring that down. We didn't do anything to it, therefore it stays the same. And we have 15x minus 6y. Now again, because I am not evaluating this and because there is no equal sign anywhere on this problem, this is where I stop. I, all I had to do was simplify this. Let's go to problem number five, also on your paper. In this problem, you see that there is an equal sign. Therefore, in this problem, we do need to solve. To solve means we need to get the, uh, our variable x by itself. Um, as I go through this problem, I want you to copy down the steps and also the work for the problem. I know that you do not have a lot of room on your paper so you're welcome to copy it down on the back of the paper. Um, otherwise, I encourage you to write as neatly and as, as small as you can to try to fit everything on that small space. Step number one, still the same. We draw a line. Now, step number two is different. Anytime you see any problem that looks like this, step number two is going to be to combine your like terms before you do anything else. Our like terms in this problem are negative 6x and um, minus x, so we put circles around those. And combining like terms, on our left side, we end up with negative 7x plus 3 equals negative 4. Okay, step number 3. We are either going to add or subtract. Looking at our problem, we are adding 3 to our negative 7x. The opposite of adding 3 is to subtract 3. And whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. Our positive 3 and our negative 3, 0 pair. That means they cancel out. And on our left side, we're left with negative 7x. And on our right side, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Step number 4. We are either going to multiply or divide. Looking at our problem, we are multiplying our x by negative 7, which means we want to do the opposite, which is to divide by negative 7. Again, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. Now remember, negative 7 divided by negative 7, that reduces down to a 1. So you're left with 1x equals and negative 7 divided by negative 7. Again, that's 1. So you're left with 1x equals 1, which is simply um, just x equals 1. Step number 4 was to get our answer, which is x equals 1. 
And then step number five, once you get your answer, you want to check it. You want to make sure that's correct. So you take the original equation and you substitute in the one for the x. Wherever you see an x, you put a one. When you do that, um, you end up with negative six, open parentheses, one, close parentheses, minus one, plus three equals negative four. And when, we do, and when you do that calculation, you end up with um, negative four equals negative four, which is a true statement, which means that this is, that x equals one is indeed correct. And we are done. So what I want you to do is Pause this video, and if you haven't already, finish copying everything on this slide.